Well, the most important skills are communication. So communicating across a wide variety of cultural backgrounds. It's very important to understand the different cultures, lots of different people coming into lecture rooms, you know, people from all over Asia, Europe, Australians. So one person might interpret the information you're saying one way and another person from a different background may present it interpret it in a completely different way. So it's making sure that everybody understands the message that you're conveying to that lecture room. Um, patience is another um, skill because not everybody understands so you need to take a deep breath and come at things from different angles so that again you make sure that everybody's receiving the same message that you intend them to receive. The main challenge is, is the time factor. I think everybody that goes into lecturing because you, you normally go into lecturing because you are a subject matter expert and you think you can just rock up, stand at the front of the room and talk for hours. Um, but there is a curriculum that you have to stick to. Those learning outcomes, you've got to make sure that you cover off on all of those and that takes time. So a candidate should focus on, I would say, their communication skills, um, their ability to work with a wide variety of people. They would be the two most important things. And I guess um, when you're being interviewed, to make sure that you convey that you do have the available time to commit to performing a lecturing role, which isn't just about standing in the lecture room, but it's all those other things, doing the research, to make sure your information's update, grading papers, answering student inquiries, that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm.